Hi, it's Flo. Now I had an inquiry just recently about the scoring lines in Design Space and what happens when you bring in a project that has dashed score lines where Cricut Design Space scores them in dashes. So I thought what I would do is I would upload one of the images that I have recently uploaded and found was a dashed score line. So first thing I'm going to have to do is find it. So I'll choose this one because I'm pretty sure this had a dashed school line. And if it didn't, oh well, we'll have to um, work out what it was. Now yes, it does have a dashed school line and it's fairly hard to see on this at the moment. So what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the colour so that I can see it better. And I'll change it to a paler colour and now we can see the dashed school lines. Now if you look at this very carefully you can see also down here there's another little bit of a, a dash down here. I'm not quite sure why but that's um, a, a little school line obviously for the corner. I think that's the insert in the bottom so I'm not quite sure why it's got a dashed school line in there. Now this at the moment, as you can see up here, um, is highlighted with ungroup. So if we ungroup that, we will probably find that we can take some of these apart. Um, one of the things that just came up, uh, I'll go back to that, is when I hit on this one, you notice that it came in a little round the edges, but it went right up. And this means that this is the scoring that I've got here. It also means that all of these green pieces are going to be attached. So unless we actually cut this off, we're not going to have them um, separated out. Now, this at the moment is a dashed school line. And will, when you put it into Cricut, it will score on each of these little dashes but it won't do a straight score line all the way across for you. Now, if your scoring is not very deep, you'll find that that's sometimes hard to see, but if you've got a score line that goes all the way across, it's a little bit easier to see. But the other thing is that when you come to the end of the cut, if you press your C again, it will start to score again. Now you don't have to cut it again and you can do this one way or the other. You can watch it score again and wait till it's finished scoring and then stop it. Or you can take the knife blade out or the cutting blade out and just let it go its own merry way. And that makes it easier. Now the first thing you're going to do is these are the scoring lines and if you just wanted to score the dashed lines you need to come up over to the side where it shows you on the right but where they are and change this to score lines just up here All right, I'm not going to do that at the moment I'm going to leave them there because what I want to do is show you that where it says shapes you have a score line down here now although this looks to be a dashed score line and I'll click over here it's not. It's actually a design space score line and the design space score lines are straight and they are lovely and straight so I'm going to, no, I have to bring it up from the bottom so I'm going to put it over the top of that first score line right there and this is probably a little bit boring so you might want to um, skip through a little bit. Now, while it's still highlighted, I'm going to go over to the duplicate button. And because all these score lines across the top here are the same size, I'm just going to duplicate the first one and match it up and put it on there. And do that again and again so that we have the score lines all in a row there. And all I've done is duplicated those score lines and put them on top. Now these score lines are already is design space score lines and they're going to be nice ones. Now 
the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that one again and I'll show you something with this one is because we want a long horizontal one I will take this out to the side I'm going to hold my finger on shift and that's because I'm working on a uh, not a Mac a Windows computer and I'm going to put it sideways now Mac you have another one that you press to turn things sideways and I'm not quite sure what that is but this one I'm now having turned it sideways when I put my finger on the control button um, I can turn that sideways and it will turn in um, parts so it goes sort of 10 um, no 45 and then 90 or um, it'll go through in 30 60 90 but whichever way it goes it will stop at a 90 degree and because I know that this is straight across the center I can put that in there now you can see as I was dragging it along it went wider and wider and wider but now it's come back to the beginning and it's just a nice little dotted line along there then we have these two little score lines in here so again rather than I can go to the shapes down here and just get another one and that'll bring me in another scoring line now this scoring line is sitting at about two and a half and if we look um, you can see the position here is two and a half and two and a half right now I actually want that position of that scoring line now sometimes I'm working right over at 20 if I've got a lot of things on my mat that I'm working on and scoring on and I want the score line down round here so I want it down at about the 9 level and about the 8 level so if I change these to my x y as 9 it will go 9 across so I know that I'm just about in the right place so if I go 9 down here and put this one on 9 and hit enter it will come down here now that saves me having to drag it all the way down here and although that wouldn't have been a distance to get it and I would have been able to get it if you're working over at 25 or 30 and you put your it comes in at 1 and 1 and you put um, your 25 um, or your 30 by 9 in over there it will come to where you can see it without having to um, scroll back and forward across your mat and that's actually quite a, a neat thing to be able to do now these are very very tiny little score lines here and I do have a habit of when I pick these up to hit the X button so I have to try and um, get hold of this and put it up there and then bring this one up so that it goes up there and I will uh, just duplicate that again and again we're going to have to try and turn this one so I'm going to put my finger on the shift button and just go click around like that and you see that it's now sideways now I wouldn't have been able to tell that that was sideways at that, time, that point in time and of course I just grabbed the um, the rotate button and so I'm going to have to go back up here and tell it to go and rotate to um, I'll rotate it to 180 and hopefully it'll go in the right direction which I don't think it's done um, well, now, now you see I've moved that um, now that's my my little scoring line and because it's gone uh, there you go now I wanted it sideways so there you go and I'm going to bring it to where I can see it, there must be one here too there um, I'm going to bring that down and just see whether I've got it in the right place now I've 
got it in the right place there and now I'll move that one up and I'll come to this one and I'll put that now with your scoring lines the length and or shorten line is the arrow and so you've got to lengthen and shorten them to the arrow otherwise um, of course you get it rotated like I did before or you get the X and it disappears altogether now you'll see that these went out of kilter and so I'm thinking oh dear what am I going to do about those and wherever we put those they were in the wrong place so I'm now going to have to bring this and this is all the scoring lines so we just have to put all the scoring lines back in the right place and then once we've got the scoring lines back in the right place um, we will um, match them all up again so we need the scoring lines in the right place so let's have a look If we take these scoring lines and we put these scoring lines where they're supposed to go remembering that when I said that they went in they went in just slightly in from the from the score from the edges and now that we know is a design space line and these oh, those lined up quite not too bad now this is the scoring line and these are the scoring lines for the design that came in and I'm just going to slightly move them over to see whether I can get them lined up where they were and that's about right now the easiest way to work out is this scoring line now is over here and it says it's a cut line so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to turn the eyeball off on it now once I've turned the eyeball off on it all I've got now is the base that's in a greeny colour of what I've got at the moment and the scoring lines that are in design space and you can see all the scoring lines in design space because they're all out here now although that was only one um, item on the um, on the thing on the mat it wasn't attached at that time what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach this one and if once I go attach it will attach itself to this and those are all design space scoring lines now so they will all score in one straight line and that's how that's how I do it um, and that makes it quite easy now you can see over here somewhere we will have um, it says main boys and brew because that was the color of and what it was called when it came in um, and this one is crossed out the eyeballs crossed out if I highlight this one now although you won't be able to see it I will be able to delete it but if I show it to you I'll undo that and you can see that it is there and if I pull pull that one apart it will oh yeah now hang on a minute I can still do that and show it to you if I pull this one down because I attach these ones this one still stays in the same place and if I click on here you will see that yes this one came up and that's the one that I want to delete now so I could have either gone over there highlighted it and gone up here to delete and deleted it let me move on now so I've got not a very clear screen because of the um, light on the background aha uh -huh, now I can see it there's a delete button and you could have deleted it by highlighting here and deleting 
or you can turn it back on and go over and press your delete button over here. Now, once I've got that in, I've now got design space scoring lines that are going to go straight. I've still got my little scoring line over there, even though I'm not quite sure what it's going to do. And I've got all of these in. I've discarded the dashed score lines, and so it will now score like that. If I, as I say, if I'm not happy with the scoring, I can score it a second time by taking the blade housing out and just letting it score and run through its program again. But generally I find that, you know, it doesn't take very long to score, so I'll just sit there and wait for it to score a second time, and then I'll put it on pause and eject the map, and I find that I can see the scoring um, lines quite well. Now I hope that helps you with your scoring and changing your dashed lines to design space lines and it does make it a lot easier. There is another way that if you've got lots of squares on your thing to score, you go again to your shapes and just remember you've got a nice little square block there. You can undo that and make your little block the right size to go in your pieces. Undo that so that you can change it to where you want it and put that block there and then change your block to scoring and again just press your button go to your scoring tool and it changes the outline to scoring whereas it would have cut that you've now got that scored so the other thing that you can do of course is put in two lots of scoring lines and it will then score twice so just remember that you have to attach them. Do not weld them because scoring lines don't weld together, but you could lose the scoring lines. So what you do is you can either do it with boxes and if you, you can do boxes down here, these ones might show up better than these ones and you just want them down here. Um, if you've got scoring lines on your cutting line, it doesn't really matter too much because they will match up really well. And I hope that's explained some of the things that I do because I prefer the straight scoring lines. As I say, just going over it again, if I had something over here and I put in a shape, and it might even be a triangle shape or something, and... Did I put in the shape? Yes, and it came in because I can see it's up here. Now I'm at 25. Now I think it's your y-axis which is 25. I'll soon find out because when I put 25 in there and hit enter, no, it's not going to behave me for me and do enter. So, okay, if I put that as 25 and it didn't go, then maybe I need to put that in at 3 and I'll change this one to 25. Ah, and that's how I figure out which one of my x, y positions is where. Um, once I've figured it out, I know that the x position is 25 and that's what I want to, to do with this one. And if I want another um, shape to come in, I'll pick my circle this time and again it's come in at 4 and 4 so if I change that one to 25 didn't mind it at the 4 and it's come straight over to where I want so when you're working on the right hand side of the screen or lower on the screen and you don't want to have to keep going back to drag things over your x, y axis is really helpful then Okay, I hope that's been of some help for you, and you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much, and it's Flo signing off.